I've tried Unreal Engine for the first time ever. Hello everyone, I'm Devan Confirmist and welcome back guys to a brand new video because today you are gonna see how this experience was for me, the whole process. I think if I have to compare this video, I mean this engine actually, with Godot, this was actually a success. It felt familiar, maybe this is why, because I felt like Unity and Unreal have a lot of things in common already, even though I don't know anything about Unreal. Without any more introduction, let's jump right into the video. So here, as you can see, it was literally the first time I opened it on my laptop and it asked me a lot of stuff. First of all, I have to say that I really, really liked the interface of Unreal. It felt like it's something professional. And then I got this warning and I was like, uh... Please tell me this is gonna work out, even though I say yes. Because honestly, at first I wanted to do my research to see if my laptop actually has the requirements because I have to be honest, I didn't check before doing this. I was like, it's gonna work 100% even though I heard different opinions that you need a powerful laptop or whatever. Mine, I would say it's a medium one, it's not the best one out there, but it's not also the worst. Back to what I said before, I really liked the interface of this engine. It felt professional. It felt like it's a total new league. Unity is for kids and this one is for grown-up people. Please don't judge me for this, but this is what my gut said when I first saw that. This was the menu. You can see me already a bit interested, I would say, because I was like, okay, what's this? We got this thing. And we also got architecture and real life stuff. And I was completely, completely in love with what I saw. In my mind was, you know what, I'm just gonna create a new project and I'm gonna search on Google how to import assets because that's what I love to do, honestly, combining everything. It's my favorite thing in every engine, combining assets. This feels like... Maybe something very, very unprofessional, I would say. Because a lot of you guys, maybe you create your own stuff and you use Blender or stuff like that. I've used Blender before. I'm familiar with it. But the thing is, I kind of forgot how... I have to mention I used it months ago. Even though that's not an excuse. I know. But yeah. So I opened the scene and... Um, I saw a lot of things missing. I was like, oh, please don't tell me the console. And then I saw the sky and I was like, this feels like I'm in the matrix. Feels like I'm in a simulation. I, I'm already in love with it, honestly. As you can see, I feel like it requires way more resources than Unity. So this is a bit concerning. Also, my face cam got a bit laggy. Here I was trying to see, okay, I want to build something from scratch. Where is that? I wanted to see if I'm able to do it without googling it. That's my favorite test. Because in design is this rule that said if you are on a website and you don't know what to do in the next three seconds, that means the website is not, is not great. I just love the process of discovering stuff myself. And because I don't really want to ask for help, I wanted to search it myself and see the asset store and what can it offer. And then I saw the free section, which is great to have a big free section out there. And then I saw all this stuff and I realized, hold on, maybe I have to actually open Epic Games because that's where I got Unreal from. That's what I've used to install Unreal, I think. Actually, I'm not sure if it's the only way to do it, but this is how I did it. So yeah, I've used Epic Games as a launcher for Unreal. So as you can see, I open it and I saw the marketplace out there. I wanted to check and see if it's the same thing. So that's exactly what I did. I saw the free section again and I was like, you know what? I don't really like what I see here. Maybe I have to search for a landscape and that's exactly what I did. I checked the free, so we don't want to pay right away for something. I scrolled a bit, I was fascinated, literally fascinated by what I saw. And then I saw this one, that I felt like it's cute, it has a lot of potential. In my mind it was like, okay, maybe I can build 
a civilization game, like starting from scratch, you have to build your house and then a stone and you can see I was a bit enthusiastic at first. I downloaded it. This one took a while, but then I imported it into my project and I had to wait. But don't worry, you don't have to. So as you can see here, I've downloaded it and I've added it to my project. But here, when I got back into my project, I was a bit not a bit, I was really really confused because I didn't know where can I find my asset. So I was just bumping into everything that I was seeing right there on the outline, which is completely wrong. Like even in Unity, I think it's called index, if I'm not mistaken. Imagine I was searching for my asset in the index. How is that possible? I don't know. And yeah, you can see the struggle here, literally. Then I was like, oh, okay, I can drag this. Well, that's a start, but apparently it wasn't, it still wasn't where I was supposed to go and find my asset. I literally fall in love with all the assets that I saw right there. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna search for a YouTube tutorial that's gonna help me seeing where can I find my assets. And then I skipped a bit because I was trying to see exactly that part. So you've imported your project. Okay. Now, Tell me where am I supposed to find it? And then I saw the down section and I was like, okay, it's called content something. And then I jumped right back into my Unreal and then I found content drawer. I was like, oh my God, this is the place. I found the assets. I found the maps. I was like, maybe map equals scene. So, you know, for Unity, we got like different scenes that are already built just for a few assets, of course. But in my mind, I was like, okay, if I saw the pictures, maybe they already have the maps. Then I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. I'm just gonna search through everything and check everything that was there. Um, I saw I was able to edit like an illustrator. That's very interesting. Then the materials, the textures, um, summer textures as well. And I was trying my best to drag the grass on the land and it didn't make sense because in Unity this is how it works, right? You drag your material color whatever on your plane, on your model and it works. But I think this is not how it does in Unreal. And then I was trying to switch the perspective and this was also a bit hard because I didn't know the controls. I was like, where am I? Is this the simulation of my entire life not of my game i jumped back into perspective back to the content drawer and i was trying my best to drag stuff again but it didn't work and i found all these amazing objects and i saw okay i can drag the object at least and it was very very funny because i thought the tree is very little compared to what i had in my mind and i was trying to play it and you can see I fall in love again with the camera. Like the way this camera moves. I know my laptop is very, very laggy right now. I have to change the shaders and stuff. But for me, it was so fun playing with this. I swear. In Unity, it's never this smooth. Unless you probably know how to fix that yourself. And then I was dragging all these objects, playing with them, having the time of my life. I found particles and fire and stuff and I was like, what is that? Can I drag the fire? And this was so nice and interesting because I've never seen something like this in Unity before. I also didn't search for it, but yeah, it was very interesting for me.
and I was playing with objects, dragging them each and their as I said, having the time of my life. And I was like, you know what? Actually, maybe it's a problem with my laptop. And I was like, I'm gonna search for Unreal PC requirements. And then I saw the RAM is fine. The thing is, I have Intel XE graphics. I was concerned this is not gonna work out perfectly fine for are real this is why i asked my best friend of course ChatGPT. buddy i got this problem let me know how can i fix it or at least am i supposed to use unreal because i i as i've told you guys i fall in love with this engine way more than godot because i've tried that one it was a total mess compared to how unreal was it was way more easier to import stuff to edit everything and as you can see here lower settings ChatGPT suggested me this stuff i was a bit concerned because i was like okay so i have to improve few stuff before trying to actually do something and yeah this was actually my experience in unreal you can see me playing each and there as i said having the time of my life having fun So yeah guys, thank you very very much for being here and watching this video. You can see this was my first experience ever with Unreal. It's not like I made a joke or something, you can literally see my reactions for everything. And yeah, I'm gonna confirmist. Thank you very much for watching this video and give it a try and see how this experience was for me. Make sure to check how was my first experience with Godot and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, take care.